hey, you know people are cheating and stole this game a long time ago. How does dude got KK rule? This game's been out for 34 minutes, dog. Whatever time it is. I'm mad. I'm salty because I'm using these booty butt cheek controllers because I can't do the, 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 the damn GameCube adapter, yo. Kill a fan butt, yo. He's not better than me. Go upstairs and get in the oven. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Killer Fam 69. I'm back with another video. Hey, you're... it was good, everybody. This boy Game Fanatic, no Michael Jordan. Oh. All right, let's quit playing. Uh, what's up, y'all? It's B R Chanel, man. I'm back from a long hiatus on uh, YouTube, and I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. This is this is original. I came up with this on my own. Like, there was nothing that influenced anything in this video. Um, if you like it though, make sure to go ahead and hit that sub, hit that like button, hit the dislike, retweet it, whatever you do, dog, just do it. Okay, so, um, um, hold on, let's see. As you can see earlier in the little intro, you just seen I was snapping because I could not use the Joy-Cons in the game. A GameCube controller is a must. Okay, so, what I did was I went out and I bought this. It's like 24 bucks at uh, Best Buy. And um, I'm having problems syncing it to my Switch. It's not working. And if you're like me, you're here because you tried everything you looked up. Um, you you uh you you, re you updated the firmware, you turned it off, you you repowered your uh, USB ports, and it's still not working. Well, look no further, people. I have the answer for you right here. All right, probably cut to this because editing, whatever. But um, what you want to do first is you want to take that cable, which is a USB to USB mini. You want to try it on another device, like plug it into your phone. Um, Plug it into an Xbox controller. Just make sure you're getting heat from that, right? And if you're getting heat from that, we're going to go to this next step here. Okay, next what I want you to do is go find the NES emulator. I'm using JNES here. Anyone will work. What you want to do is you want to go into the options, and then we're going to go into the input device. So we're going to configure a controller here. So my controller is already selected there because I've done this already, but this is to show you how to do it. All right, so what we want to do is we want to change some settings on it, all right? So here I am just changing left to up, um, right to left. So the controller is working. So we, we verified that our cable and our controller is working. So now let's head over to the uh, switch. All right, now unplug your controller from the computer and make sure you got it plugged into the switch at this point. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to controllers and scroll down to find controllers. Anytime now. Today or tomorrow. Okay, now tap L and R and it should pop up just like mine did. USB. Alright, and there you have it. Um, I'm not sure why that version works. The version of the fix works over others. If you followed all the steps, your wired controller should be working. Um, man, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can get uh my next video, which I'll probably do next year. Uh sometime uh Q2 or Q3. Um but yeah, man, if you enjoyed this video, man, y'all unsub the killer fam and sub to me. Um, appreciate y'all. I'll see you later. Peace.